it's like you know you've been groping in the dark and suddenly somebody turns on the lights it's 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 been quite enlightening to me that's why that, that's what i'll say there were so many things that i thought i know that i didn't know there were so many things that i approached in one way that i found out that there are better ways to actually approach this and solve problems the program is not just about science but it's about building uh, leadership skills it's about building basically the next generation of scientists realize that you know at its core we may talk different we may look different but we're all people and we're all scientists and we all want very similar things so this is the most amazing thing i guess because Work in the lab, you can learn by yourself, and sometimes you can work alone most of the times. But to do some big things in the world, you need others. This is the best thing that I'm learning here. This is amazing. Back home, my work is quite uh, immunology based, and so the project that I'm doing here is in the ATI unit, the Autoimmunity Transplant and Immunology Unit. And uh, it's not directly related to my work, but the techniques that I'm learning, I will apply to the validation of my work back home. So my project here is looking at the, or comparing rather, the effects of dexamethasone and omega-3 fatty acids on different uh, macrophage lineages. The project that I'm working on basically entails coming up with cellular models uh, directed at myelodysplastic syndromes so that we can go on the path to drug discovery, mainly looking at targeted therapy. These people are people with a lot of um, scientific knowledge and skills and they are ready to help me whenever there is a need, I just have to ask. And what I find very interesting about them is regardless of their level of knowledge, they are always also willing to learn whatever little I have to offer. And then that makes me feel very privileged because these people are people with a lot of knowledge in the fields they are working in. Uh, the best thing so far in my research work here is um, with a kind of research this world class is something I never imagined. In a few minutes, you can do um, what somebody would take um, a year or two to do uh, elsewhere. And I think this is um, something that has really um, changed my way of thinking. When I first started in my lab, um, I had to be trained up in certain techniques. Um, and what we did was we combined my training with simple experiments that the lab actually needed done. So for example, they had three batches of a tetanus toxin that they needed to test. And um, I mean, that kind of experiment is not, not a very difficult thing to do, but you know, nobody had time to do it and I needed to learn the technique. So they matched me up with that experiment and so for my training, I performed that experiment for them um, and it worked great. By training one person, you've not trained one single scientist. By training me, you've trained almost uh, the science department in uh, my university. Llegué aquí con 21 extraños y me voy a casa con 21 nuevos amigos. Since its launch four years ago, the Next Generation Scientist program has hosted over 80 scientists and clinicians from Africa and the developing world who aspire to improve healthcare in their communities via research and development. The program is mutually beneficial as it provides a better understanding of disease and patient diversity in emerging countries and lays the groundwork for collaborations with research institutions in previously underserved countries. Commencing in 2014, participants receive certification and postgraduate credit points from the University of Basel, who collaborate with Novartis to oversee the research projects and conduct a curriculum of drug discovery and development science topics 